hi guys welcome to my channel in this channel we provide the in-depth knowledge of different programming languages like c c plus plus java dot net python which differentiate you with others in our series of python programming language in last class we have discussed something known as list how we can declare a list how we can access the element of the list using loop or without losing loop loops today we are going to discuss some basic list operations that way you can perform on list what is list list is a compound data type it acts it works like an array but the basic difference is list can grow or shrink dynamically so these are the list of some basic list operation that we can perform we will discuss one by one out of this 910 operations we will discuss 4 to 5 into the class and 4 to 5 in next class let's start try to concentrate first is mutability what do you mean by mutability unlike strings list are mutable strings are immutable means we cannot change once the string is declared but list can be mutable unlike strings lists are mutable or you can say changeable so they can be updated let's see some example by seeing the example we can be able to understand how lists are mutable here we are declaring one list with a name animals animals is equal to zebra tiger lion jackal and kangaroo here we are having five elements in this list index always start from 0 to size minus 1 means zebra will be access using animals 0 and kangaroo will be access using animals 4 another list ages is equal to 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 seven elements are declared in this ages now when i write animals 2 is equal to dog what happens that lion will be replaced with dog so after writing animals 2 is equal to dog when we try to access the animals list output will be zebra tiger dog jackal and kangaroo means lion will be replaced with dog when i write ages 5 equal to 31 what does it means 31 means sixth element why because index always start from 0 to size minus 1 so here fifth sixth element or index fifth is 29 so 29 will be replaced with 31 when i write ages 5 equal to 31 When I write ages two colon five equal to thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, what does it means? We want to set two to four items with a value thirty two, thirty three, and thirty four. What happens? Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six is what? Twenty four is zero, twenty five is one, and twenty six is two. Means twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight will be replaced with thirty two, thirty three, and thirty four. Means after executing this statement, if we will try to access this age list. The output will be 24, 25, 32, 33, 34, and 31, 30. Why? Because 29 is replaced with 31 just before the this statement. Getting my point? You tried it in the compiler. ID me ek bar usko try karke dekhiye. If you will get any error, you can ask me. When I write ages 2 colon 5 equal to empty bracket, what does it mean? We want to delete the items from 2 to 4. So this 32, 33, 34 will be deleted. The output will be after age 2 colon 5 equal to empty bracket. Output will be 24, 25, and 31 and 30. So this is how we can change or update the list of different data types. Strings are immutable, whereas lists are mutable. The first property of the list or the first operation that we can perform on list is mutability. second pro, uh, operation is concatenation concatenation means we can add or we can append one list after the other one list list can be concatenated means appended at the end of the another list let's take an example lst is equal to 12 13 14 15 16 we are declaring one list how many elements 1 2 3 4 5 5 then lst is equal to lst plus 33 30 30 44 and 55 then we will try print lst the output will be 12 13 14 15 16 33 44 55 what does it means the second list 
is appended at the last of the first list this 33 34 35 is anonymous list it is not having any name we are directly adding with lst lst is equal to lst plus 33 34 44 and 55 the output will be 12 13 14 15 16 33 44 55 what does it means this 33 44 55 list is appended after the end of lst so in this way we can concatenate two list means we can add two list one after the another this is our second operation third operation we can merge two list two list can be merged to create a new list means two list ko merge karke aap tisri list bana sakte how let's take an example x is equal to 10 20 30 y is equal to 100 200 300 so when i write z is equal to x plus y what happens x and y will be merged and stored in z so when i try to print z the output will be 10 20 30 for 100 200 and 300 python makes things very easy for a programmer now if these operations have to perform in c and c plus plus a programmer has to do lot of coding but here by just calling one function or plus operator is overloaded we can do this operation in a very short span of time that is why everybody is preferring python next operation is conversion a string tuple set can be converted into list using the list conversion function we have already discussed four compound data type tuple set string all are what these all are compound data types so this can be converted into list using a list function list conversion function you can say let's take an example l is equal to list america it will convert the string into list this america can be converted into list see here a m e r i c a all the, this complete string is divided into single single character so a will be stored stored in l0 m will be stored in l1 e will be stored in l2 r l3 i l4 c l5 and a l6 seven elements index start from 0 to size minus 1 next operation that is aliasing on aliasing one list to another both refer to the same list changing one changes the other the assignment is often called a shallow copying or aliasing what does it means on assigning one list to another both refers to the same list changing one changes changes the other the assignment is often called a shallow copying or aliasing opposite to shallow copying is deep copy that we will see after few minutes let's take an example lst1 is equal to 10 20 30 40 50 lst2 is equal to lst1 does not copy list lst2 refers to the same list as lst1 what happens lst1 is a reference referring to 10 20 30 40 50 lst1 is holding the address of list 10 20 30 40 50 the same address will be stored in l2 what happens lst1 and lst2 will start pointing to 10 20 30 40 50 why because another five elements are not stored in a different allocation the same values that the same address is stored in lst2 that is why what we have written doesn't copy list lst2 refers to the same list as lst1 so no doubt agar lst2 change karega to it will reflect to lst1 and lst1 change karega it will reflect to lst2 in other terms we can say the same location is referred by two pointers if one pointer will change it will reflect to the other pointer if another pointer will change it will reflect to the first pointer see here print lst1 output will be 10 20 30 40 50 second print lst2 print 10 20 30 40 50 no doubt both are getting the same output now when i write lst1 0 is equal to 100 so in place of 10 we are storing what 100 now when i write print lst0 lst10 no doubt it will get 100 but when we try to access lst20 again it is getting again it what we are getting we are getting 100 why because there is no another copy of this lst2 lst2 is referring to the same list that is why it is 
displaying the same value. I mean, it it's a kind of a reference in C++. If somebody you have done the C++ in C++, this referent and reference are so tightly interlocked with each other. If you make a change in one, it will reflect to another. Why? Because reference and reference are the alias name. That is why it is no in reference what we are studying. It's an alias name. It's a another name. Same thing. LST1 is given a another name LST2. So if we change in if we make a change in LST1, it will reflect to LST2. And if you make a change in LST2, it will reflect to LST1. Go through this. Any doubt you can ask me. Next, we will discuss something known as cloning. This involves copying content of one list to another after copying both refer to the different list. Though both contain same value, changing in one list does not change the other. This operation is often called known as deep copying. Cloning is just opposite to the aliasing. Dono ka kaam same hai, but isme kya hota hai? One another list is created and at that place the values are stored. Means two different identity. If you make a change in one, it will not reflect to another. Getting my point. When I write int a equal to 10, 10 will be stored in a. So when I write int b equal to a, so b can there be 10 store ho jayega, lekin b ek alag identity ho jayega aur a ek alag identity ho jayega. Getting my point. Let's take an example. LST1 is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then LST2 is equal to empty list. Here we are creating a list with a name LST2. Whereas here in analyzing example, we are not creating any list. We are just creating LST2 is equal to LST1. Now, when I write LST2 is equal to LST2 plus LST1, LST1, LST2 refers to this different list. LST2 alag jaga point kar raha hai aur LST1 alag jaga point kar raha hai. So, when I write print LST1 prints 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. LST2 10 20 30 40 50 no doubt now when I write LST1 0 is equal to 100 it will only manipulate the value of LST2 it will not manipulate the value of LST1 getting my point now, now see here when I write print LST1 0 it is displaying 100 but when I write LST2 0 it is not displaying 100 it is displaying 10 it means LST1 and LST2 are two different identities. Getting my point? That is why what is cloning? This involves copying contents of one list into another. After copying, both refer to the different list. Though both contain same values, changing one list does not change the other. This operation is known as deep copy. Aliasing, uh, aliasing is shallow copy. Whereas cloning is deep copy. This is again an interview question. Usually interview, uh, in interview, Python interview, they ask what is the difference between deep copy and shallow copy. So you should be able to give the answer. Okay. Let's see another searching. Searching is another basic operation of list. An element can be searched in a list using the in membership operator. There is an operator called in membership. With the help of this, you can search an element in the list. Let's take an example. LST is equal to A E I O U. R E S is equal to A in list. What we are saying ki A ko LST ke andar search ki jye. It will return 0 since A is present in the list. Another example Z not in list. So it will return some bool value, either true or false. So when I write R E S is equal to Z not in list. So it will return true since Z is not present in the list. So this in and not in are the membership operators. This is not in and this is in. These are the two membership operators with this membership operator we can search an element in the list. Next is identity. I think this is last we have said we will do the four or five but we have completed all the basic operations last one is identity whether the two variables are referring to the same list can be checked using the is identity operator 
so there is another operator in python that is is identity operator with the help of is identity operator we can check whether two variable is referring to the same list or not let's take an example lst1 is equal to 1020 to 50 lst2 is equal to 1020 30 40 50 so when i write lst3 is equal to lst1 so when i write print lst1 is lst2 it will return false why because lst1 is referring to another list and lst2 is referring to another list but when i write lst3 is equal to lst1 what happens now lst3 will also start pointing to lst1 so that is why when i write print lst1 is lst3 it returns true why because both are referring to the same list lst1 as well as lst3 so this is identity operator is used to check whether the variable are referring to the same list or not getting my point now print lst1 is not lst2 it will print true lst1 is not lst2 it will print true is not is again an identity operator next example for the basic types num1 equal to 10 num2 is equal to 10 s1 is equal to high s2 is equal to high print num1 is num2 it will return true print s1 is s2 it will return true same that we have checked in the case of list also next basic operation is comparison it is possible to compare the contents of two lists comparison is done item by item till there is a mismatch in followed code it would be decided that a is less than b when three and five are compared now what happens when two lists are compared it will start matching one by one and it will return the difference between first two character first two mismatch character let's take an example here we are having a equal to one two three four b is equal to one two five 1 1 compared equal 2 2 compared equal jaise ho 3 or 5 ko compare karega it will find first mismatch 3 and 5 is first mismatch so when i write print a is less than b answer will be true why because 3 is less than 5 so in this way we can compare two lists and the last operation is emptiness what is emptiness as the name specify we can check whether the list is empty or not with the not operator list is equal to empty bracket if not lst print empty list not means agar wo list empty nahi hai to display kya kijiye empty list if not lst then print empty list alternately we can convert a list to a bool and check the result list equal to empty bracket print bool lst it will print false so this is how we can check whether the list is empty or not so these are the some basic operations we are not saying that these are the only operation that can be performed on list there are certain more operations that we will discuss in the further classes i think today it is enough to discuss this 9 to 10 i think 9 or 10 mutability concatenation merging conversion aliasing cloning searching identity comparison and emptiness so these are the some basic list operations that can be performed on list that we have already gone through i think we should stop here if you like the contents of this channel please like share and subscribe as much you can it motivate us thank you very much have a nice day if any doubt you can ask me i will try to reply it as early as possible thank you have a nice day